dear students i shall continue the discussion on partial differentiation for the next application that is on implicit differentiation and one more uh, topic i will cover in this lecture that is called jacobian and let me start with uh, implicit uh, differentiation what we understood uh, so far from the discussions as total derivative and composite function euler's theorem homogeneous function and some general problems on finding the partial derivatives the in continuation of this discussion the next uh, topic is implicit differentiation how this implicit differentiation meaning for finding the differential coefficient we are going to take when the function is uh, not explicitly uh, expressed how that function should be and what is the rearrangement we are going to take according to that rearrangement and we will write the required derivative which will be called as implicit differentiation for example if u is equal to if u is equal to f of x comma y then you can write du by dx du by dx is equal to del f divided by del x into del x by del x plus of del f divided by del y into del y by del x <coughs> so from this you can uh, uh, make out this x with respect to x is 1 x with respect to x is 1 and finally we are left with del f by del x and plus del f by del y into del y by del x okay then if you take this function that means writing all terms to one side du by dx is the standard expression is this one suppose you want to find out del y by del x del y is nothing but ordinary derivative that is del f divided by del x plus del f divided by del y into dy divided by dx this is du by dx then if this is du by dx is equal to 0 that means writing all terms to one side this is equal to del f divided by del x plus del f divided by it is del y and dy by it is dx this implies dy divided by dx is equal to minus of del f by del x divided by del f by del y this is called implicit differentiation implicit means the function should be explained uh like uh, uh, one function in terms of the other function that means one variable in terms of other variable where we take the derivative with respect to both the variables in one statement that is called implicit differentiation now based on this result i shall write one or two examples how implicit differentiation can be taken example find find dy by dx for x cube plus y cube z equal to 3a xy any example you can take that means here you can take uh, uh, x, x cube plus y cube equal to 3a xy this function is explained in terms of same variables x and y are there in the left side and right side also x and y are there but still we need to calculate this dy by dx so that i will write all terms to one side x cube plus y cube equal to 3a xy i'll take all the terms to one side i will define them uh, putting together these terms as function of that x comma y therefore in the solution i will write let x cube plus y cube equal to 3a xy implies x cube okay then plus y cube minus 3a xy equal to 0 what do you understand by this now this is <coughs> a function that means f of x comma y f of x comma y is this expression even from this differentiating y with respect to x there itself also you can calculate so what are the values there you can expect 
Now, del f by del x divided by del f by del y with minus sign is the derivative value, which we call it as implicit differentiation. Okay. Now, del f divided by del x is equal to f with respect to x, it is 3 x square okay, and minus of 3 a y is there. That means, here we keep this y as constant and we take this x as variable. Then del f divided by it is del y is equal to that should be 3 y square minus 3 a x is there. <coughs> then dy by dx is equal to according to this formula <coughs> minus del f by del x 3 x square minus 3 a y. <coughs> I am sorry, minus of 3 x square minus 3 a y is there and denominator the second value that is 3 y square minus 3 a x is there. Okay. So, this is uh, d y by d x means implicit differentiation according to this uh, uh, ratio of two partial derivatives, one partial derivative with respect to x, another partial derivative with respect to y. This is called implicit differentiation. Similarly, I will quote another example where we can find the imp value of the implicit differentiation. That term goes like this. <coughs> that is u is equal to should be x square plus y square and y is equal to 1 minus x divided by it is uh, x comma find it is du by it is dx. Now, what is that du by dx? So, du by dx is equal to the step which I have written, this step I am taking du by dx is equal to del u by it is del x del x divided by del x plus del u by it is del y into del y by del x because we are taking differentiation only with respect to x then implicit differentiation we have to consider then u with respect to x is 2x and this is 0 and x with respect to x is 1 and u with respect to y is plus of 2y okay? and then uh, differentiation y with respect to x. So, this should be taken differentiation of uh, uh, dy by d, uh, del y by del x separately. What is that y? y is equal to 1 minus x divided by x can be taken as this is 1 divided by x and minus x divided by x this cancels that is equal to 1 by x and it is minus 1. This is y is there. So, what you have to understand del y by del x. So, del y by del x means this is nothing but dy by dx. What is that value? Into minus 1 by x square. 1 by x differentiation you are going to take this x to numerator which makes us x to the power minus 1 and differentiation is minus 1 into x to the power minus 2 which makes us 1 divided by plus x to the power plus uh, 2. <coughs> then this term is 0. Therefore, 2 x and plus of it is 2 y into minus 1 by x square, but it is not the final answer. Why? Because we uh, require u with respect to x alone complete uh, right side value that is y is there. You have to eliminate this y that is 2 x plus 2 y means 1 minus x divided by x into minus 1 divided by it is x square. What is this? T u divided by it is <coughs> dx. Then finally, I can write like this for this du by it is dx should be 2 x first term on right side and 2 into this much uh, it can be taken as with minus sign because multiplied it is multiplied there then minus of it is 2 
into 1 minus x divided by x cube. This is your final value. So, what you have to understand here implicit differentiation with respect to uh, which symbol you are going to differentiate your final answer should fall like that only. If you need in terms of y your final answer should be in terms of y only in the absence of x. If you need the answer in terms of x then y should not be there. This is your uh, requirement in the case of implicit differentiation. So, like this you can continue the problems. Now, I would like to stop up to here and you can go for uh, uh, appl application of this concept for any of the uh, examples which is different from this type. But these two examples first you understand how we have written in both the cases that is once is du by dx another time dy by dx. Two values I have written that means with the two problems, two different problems. Only these two varieties uh, you can discuss on the application of implicit differentiation. Now, the next last topic in this module is Jacobian which plays a major role in most of the engineering problems that is in the case of com, uh, solving the complicated uh, uh, multiple integrals that is the first one is double integral and second one is a triple integral. In that Jacobian how it plays, what is the meaning of Jacobian, what is the definition of Jacobian and what is the uh, uh, determinant you are going to express and inside the determinant what values you are going to include that constitutes the Jacobian and some mathematical equations we are going to discuss on the application of Jacobian. I shall start now the last topic in this module that is called Jacobian. This is, the, this is the next application I can call this next application of partial differentiation. <coughs> you treat this as uh, some application oriented concept on the application of uh, partial differentiation to engineering problems. Fine. What is the meaning of Jacobian? I shall express like this. If u equal to f of x comma y and v is also uh, f of that means g of x comma y then the Jacobian, Jacobian is nothing but determinant of partial derivatives. Jacobian is given by j of u comma v divided by x comma y is equal to that is determinant del u, u with respect to x, u with respect to y in the first row, u with respect to x and u with respect to y, v with respect to x and v with respect to y. This is Jacobian. <coughs> That means partial derivatives are arranged in the form of rows and columns for this is the connection of u and v are connecting with x and y. That means two variables with the two variables. Okay. This in some uh, uh, references you will find the value that is simply j that is equal to daba u daba v it is a product daba x into daba y daba means del or do it is a partial derivative. This is one symbol this is another symbol this is inside like this we take. Okay. So, where we apply where we uh, use this one uh, let me define for three variables one more after that let me explain. Now, if u is equal to f of x comma y comma z, v is equal to f of uh, the function of x comma y comma z 
and W is equal to H of x comma y comma z. Then Jacobian is equal to J instead of two variables with two, you have to write three variables u, v, w divided by x, y, z is equal to determinant. Instead of two cross two determinant, this is two rows and two columns, you will write del u by that is three row, three cross three, that is all. Del u by del x, del u by del y and del u by del z, del v by del x, del v by del y and del v by it is del z, del w by del x, del w by del y, del w by del z. This is uh, Jacobian for three variables connected to three variables. Only this much is your important definition. One is two symbols connected to two, three symbols connected to three. Now, in the engineering problems where we use, why we have to study this as a branch of mathematics in engineering? Okay. Let me tell you, you have studied the double integration, that means double integration. This is x1 to x2, y1 to y2, f of x comma y, it is dx dy and triple integration that is x12, x2, y12, y2, z12, z2, f of x comma y comma z, it is dx, dy and dz. You are aware about these uh, triple integrals, that means single integration, double integration and triple integration. So, in all these cases, this product of derivatives is there dx dy next to dx dy dz. In some cases, the function which will not allow our integration uh, to become comfortable, we cannot solve in some cases. In that uh, situation, we need to convert or we need to change these variables x and y in the form of polar transformation with the polar transformations as x equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta. It is not enough if you change x and y only in terms of polar coordinates. Along with that, you have to change these two variables also followed by derivatives. Then dx dy, I will prove in the first example itself, what is the value of dx and dy after transferring these symbols into r cos theta and then r sin theta. That means, uh, followed by the product of derivatives which will be the contribution from Jacobian. Then similarly, here three variables are there, product of three variables. So, in this case also product of three variables, we will uh, change that in the form of cylindrical polar coordinate systems. When the geometrical structure is cylindrical, then we need to transfer x equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sin theta and z is equal to z only. Afterwards, then two symbols, uh, sorry, three symbols which you have to change, that is one is dx, then dy, then dz. But you cannot change only dx separately and dy separately and dz separately. All the three together you have to shift. Together you have to shift means this product of three derivatives is equal to some variable, product of two derivatives is equal to some variable. So, problems I will start on the application of this Jacobian. So, before I rub it, this is the case of uh, two variables and this is the case of three variables. Now, here itself I will uh, I try to uh, show that application of Jacobian for the case of two variables with uh, two variables. Now, if I take an example if x equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta, this is an important case which we have to discuss always and uh, find the value 
of the Jacobian. Only this much. That means two variables are connected to two variables and then we have to make use of this first determinant. Okay. Now, you take the symbols according to the given representation in the solution. I will take like this x equal to r cos theta right? and y is equal to r sin theta takes the meaning x is a function of r comma theta and y is a function of r comma theta y is a function of r comma theta now with the help of this jacobian uh, is given by compare those symbols with the given symbols jacobian is given by j of x comma y r comma theta but here u and v were in the left side, x and y were on the right side. Now, u x and y are in the left side, r and theta are on the right side. This is equal to Jacobian del x by del r, whatever numerator is there with respect to two symbols derivatives you write, del x with respect to theta, del y with respect to r and del y with respect to theta. So, this is the uh, function that you are going to collect as uh, Jacobian simply you can call it as this is del x and del y divided by del r and del theta this is equal to j simply any one symbol you can use. Now, I shall introduce in the Jacobian inside the determinant let me see these values will give what simple value x with respect to r that means you differentiate this x with respect to r keeping theta as constant that is r means only cos theta and x with respect to theta this is r into cos theta uh, r is constant with respect to theta you are taking the differentiation minus r into it is sin theta then y y with respect to r means that is sin theta and r into it is cos theta correct huh? then so we will write the simplification because you know the simplification of the determinant okay it is only the cross multiplication cos theta into cos theta cos square theta r is outside it is cos square theta then a determinant simplification uh, this into this and this into this along with minus sign then minus of this minus r square that becomes plus sign that is sin into sin you are writing sin square theta this becomes r into it is cos square theta plus it is sin square theta what is the final simplification it is j is equal to r times into 1. What is your j? That is equal to r. That j is nothing but this value, otherwise this value. I will write this value. Del x by, uh, sorry, del x del y divided by del r del theta. Therefore, what ultimate, uh, what finally you can declare dx dy, dx dy divided by dx dy divided by dr d theta. If you write partial derivatives as ordinary derivatives, when x is a function of a single uh, variable and y is a function of single variable, this is equal to r. Then dx dy is equal to r into dr, it is d theta. That means, in the case of double integral, this quantity is replaced as this quantity is replaced as product of two derivatives from the Jacobian. Okay. That is equal to when you transfer this x and y in terms of these quantities that is theta 1 to theta 2 r 1 to r 2 
f of r cos theta and r sin theta. <laughs> Hope you are following all these things because uh, x and y are the Cartesian coordinates, r and theta are the polar coordinates. Then we transfer like that in place of x this quantity, this one and in place of y r sin theta. Therefore, this derivative product should be replaced with this value r into dr d theta. Therefore, r into dr d theta. You will see the practical application of this uh, 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 double integral uh, with the uh, uh, introduction of uh, product of derivatives using Jacobian which was complicated integral in the existing system that is in the case of uh, uh, Cartesian coordinates can be uh, can become to the easier form where double integral can be applied. Okay. This is one problem. Now, let me take another example uh, for three variables how this Jacobian is going to behave. right? That is in the case of three variables, what is the triple integral that you are going to replace the product of derivatives. Okay. So, that is called cylindrical polar coordinates. If x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta and z is equal to z, find the Jacobian, find the value of Jacobian. Now, you can make out this is the case of not two variables, but three variables. There are three symbols x, y, z and right side also three symbols r, theta and one more is same. So, we will discuss according to the given variables. Solution then x comma y comma z are connected to are connected to r, theta and z. So, we will do accordingly <coughs> that means Jacobian is equal to j of x comma y comma z divided by r comma theta comma z. Okay. Then r comma theta comma z, how you are going to sort out these values? Uh, that means you can take uh, the symbols in the form of determinant del x divided by del r, del x divided by del theta, del x divided by del z, del y, x with respect to 3, y with respect to 3, z with respect to 3. That is del y by del r, del y divided by del theta, del y divided by it is del z and del z divided by del r and del z divided by it is uh, del theta and del z divided by it is del z. This is nothing but, this is nothing but in the form of derivatives like this you can write in the form of derivatives like this, like this. I can write this uh, on the right side it is uh, del x, del y, del z divided by del r, del theta and del z. Okay. Then this can be taken as dx, dy, dz divided by dr, d theta and dz. introduce the values by finding the corresponding differential coefficients and then simplify the determinant. So, matrices and determinants uh, I am sure that you are familiar and uh, you must uh, take a revision of simplification of matrix by applying the determinant to the matrix and also determinant simplification separately. Because in the case of uh, determinant this one is 3 cross 3 that means three row three rows and three columns that is called three cross three means m cross n m cross n this implies m is equal to n is equal to three 
that means three rows and three columns. How to simplify this? You may be knowing how this uh, determined simplification will be applied. Okay. So now one by one, let me take <coughs> j is equal to first of all x with respect to r. It is cos theta. X with respect to theta. It is minus r sin theta. X with respect to z. There is no z in this differentiation is 0. X, y with respect to r, it is sin theta, y with respect to theta, it is r cos theta and y with respect to z, that is 0. And z with respect to r, 0, z with respect to theta, it is 0 and z with respect to z is 1. This you have to simplify. When once you simplify this part, you will get the product of derivatives, how these product of derivatives are going to be useful in handling the complicated triple integral uh, where we need to transfer from the Cartesian coordinates to the polar coordinates. Then what is the simplification? This is equal to cos theta, actually here plus sign, here minus sign and here plus sign. This is the way of uh, they are selecting the first row for the simplification. Then cos theta, this cos theta can be taken for the multiplication. You have to ignore this column and you have to ignore this row. Then your simplification will be between these values. Between these values means r into cos theta and 0 into 0. This is over according to minus sign minus of r that is sin theta into this is multiplied then you have to ignore the middle column and first row because everywhere first row it will be the reference and the corresponding column you have to ignore. Then your multiplication will be between 1 and sin theta and 0 and 0 this one that is sin theta and minus of 0. Okay? Then this is over now and plus so 0 into, you have to ignore last column and first row. Then your differentiation, uh, sorry, simplification will be between these two terms 0 into sin theta, 0 into r cos theta, that is 0. Therefore, third term completely becomes 0. Then this is r times cos square theta r times cos square theta and plus of r times it is sin square theta. This is for j. Then this is equal to r into it is cos square theta plus of sin square theta. Then this is for j. What is your j? This is dx, dy and dz this value that is dr d theta and dz if you take cross multiplication after putting this value is equal to 1 or into 1 is equal to same quantity then you can replace the product dx dy dz is equal to r into dr d theta and dz so this is what is going to be replaced in the triple integral that is f of x comma y comma z dx dy and dz is equal to x r cos theta triple integral f of r cos theta comma r sin theta and uh, it is equal uh, sorry comma z z is equal to z then it should be in the form of r into dr d theta, it is dz. Hope you are following these things uh, and this is very, very important result. Uh, uh, the main purpose of studying this Jacobian is to solve complicated multiple integrals. In those complicated multiple integrals, in the case of double integral, how it behaves? In the case of triple integral, how it behaves. So, this product of derivatives is equal to r into that much, 
and x, y, z will be with the cylindrical polar coordinate system. So, this is Jacobian, but one more problem I will uh, solve on this, then I will conclude this topic. One more uh, 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 very important uh, example is there on the application of Jacobian. How this works, let me explain. This is again uh, some important uh, example which I can say if <coughs> u is equal to x2 x3 divided by x1, v is equal to x1 x3 divided by x2 w is equal to x 1, x 2 divided by x 3. Prove that this is uh, some standard problem which you can consider in the list of problems. Prove that Jacobian of otherwise j is equal to like u v w x 1, x 2, x 3 is equal to that value is equal to 4. This is a well known problem and uh, even in uh, different type the expressions will be given on the right side, but the answer you have to prove it as 4, that value, how this works. But this is the case of uh, two variables, I am sorry, three variables with the three variables. That means x1, x2, x3. So sometimes they will give uh, the problem you will notice in the question papers or in the different references this must be y into z divided by x, this must be x into z divided by y, this must be x into y divided by z. Uh, but in some references you will find these notations, both are same, that is between x, y, z and u, v, w. Okay. How this uh, value can be taken uh, or collected from the help of Jacobian determinant. Okay. This is anyway the case of uh, uh, three variables with three variables and answer is also given that is you have to prove it as the answer is equal to 4. That means Jacobian value is equal to 4 in the solution that is u v w are connected to x uh, sorry x 1, x 2 and x 3. This is your functional relation that means they are connecting of this type. Now, Jacobian you have to write u with respect to x1, x2, x3, v with respect to x1, x2, x3, w with respect to x1, x2, x3. Then Jacobian, Jacobian is equal to <coughs> determinant that is del u by del x1, del u by del x2, del u by del x3 del v by del x1 and del v by del x2, del v by del x3 and del w by del x1, del w by del x2, del w by it is del x3. Now, uh, then you replace this is the Jacobian means j of u comma v comma w divided by x1, x2 and x3. Uh, otherwise, simply you can call it as j that is equal to in any symbolic representation you can call this is also 3 cross 3. Then what you have to calculate the first one u with respect to x1. So, x1 is in the denominator and uh, when you are taking differentiation u with respect to x1, keep x2 and x3 as constants. Since it has appeared in the denominator, then it must be minus of x2, x3 by x1 square, x2, x3 divided by x1 square with minus sign because x1 if you take numerator, it gives minus sign. <coughs> Next, u with respect to x2 that is x3 divided by x1 
u with respect to x3 x2 by it is x1 <coughs> then uh, this gives v with respect to x1 that is x3 divided by x2 and v with respect to x2 v with respect to x2 means it should be minus x1 x3 and x2 square along with minus sign and w that is x1 uh, w uh, sorry w means <coughs> sorry v with respect to x3 that means x1 by x2 this is for v series and for w series you can write like this with respect to x1 x2 by x3 and w with respect to x2 that is x1 by x3 minus of x1 x2 by x3 square this is what the differentiation that is j now you need to simplify and show the answer as 4 how we are going to simplify <coughs> now this first term already i told you this is plus sign this is minus sign this is plus sign according to simplification of the determinant then this term that is equal to j is equal to minus of x2 x3 divided by x1 square okay this is multiplied by you have to ignore this column and this row you have to take the uh, cross multiplication between these two values these two system of values so minus minus plus sign okay you have to ignore first column ignore first row x1 is there x1 is there minus minus that becomes plus sign x1 square <coughs> x2 and x3 divided by x2 square x2 square and this is x3 square minus okay this followed by minus sign and x1 square x1 square cross multiplication divided by x2 x3 x2 x3 this is over now minus of second term that is x3 by x1 multiplied to multiplied to this column you have to ignore and this row you have to ignore then your multiplication happens between these two terms that is <coughs> x3 by x2 x3 by x2 means x3 x1 x2 product uh, that is with the uh, minus sign <coughs> and then x2 and x3 square minus minus these two terms product x1 here uh, this is x1 x2 x1 x2 okay x2 x3 in the denominator this is over plus of plus of then you need to take with plus sign x2 divided by x1 multiplied to you have to ignore this column you have to ignore first row this into this that is x1 into x3 uh, okay x1 into x3 divided by x2 into x3 x2 into x3 <coughs> then this is the multiplication that is minus that becomes plus sign plus sign x1 x2 x3 and whole divided by x3 and x2 square x3 and x2 square okay after writing these values you will notice uh, totally how many terms you are going to get this multiply to this this multiply to this two terms two terms two terms so total number of terms you are getting uh, as six terms i leave this part to you but the value uh, you have to get it as 4 it will fall like this this is minus sign 
completely all the terms will cancel. We can just verify x2, x3, x2 square and x3 square. Okay, x1 square, x2 square, x3 square. You can cancel very easily. Then minus 1 remains. Similarly, this becomes plus 1. Similarly, this becomes plus 1. Similarly, this becomes plus 1. And similarly, this becomes plus 1. Right? And uh, uh, this is plus 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and plus 1. Okay? This first term, this can be cancelled. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 that Jacobin is equal to 4. This is your answer. Otherwise, you can do it x2, x2 square, x3, x3 square, x1 square, x2 square, x3 square. Every term you can cancel. Every term you can cancel. As a result, minus sign that is minus 1. Similarly, other terms you refer. So, this is Jacobin is equal to 4. With this, I would like to stop up to here. Then I shall discuss this is the end of uh, uh, module that is module number 2 partial differentiation and applications. Uh, in my next discussions, I will be taking up uh, the study of integration that is reduction formula. Thank you.